Do you know that pivot table in MS Excel can do more than just summarize results? You can calculate proportions, growth rates and a lot more. That's what I'm going to take you through in this video. In this table, I have inverse data of sales of various products. You may know that in a pivot table, we can very quickly summarize this data. So, if I wanted to summarize sales by SKU and state, I can quickly draw a pivot table where I'm going to drag and drop the state in the row field section, the SKU in the column field section and the sales amount in the value field. But let us say I don't want to see the absolute amount, but I want to see what's the proportion of contribution of each state to the total sales. How do I do that? What I'm going to do is very simply right click on the pivot table values, go to show values as and among the option, I'm going to choose percentage of column total. Now we have data that shows what proportion each state contributes to the sales of a particular stock keeping unit or SKU. You have more options too. For instance, we can look how much is the sales of a particular SKU in a particular state contribute to the total. And to do this, I'll right click on the value section, go to show value as, and I'm going to choose percentage of grand total. Not just proportions, you can also get growth rates. Our inverse data spans across multiple years. So if I need to get year over year growth rate in sales for various states, what am I going to do? I'm going to make another pivot table where sales would be in the row label and dates are going to be in the column label. The dates automatically get grouped by years. And I'm going to put the amount in the value field. To get the year over year growth rates, I'm going to right click on the values, go to show values as, and then I'm going to choose percentage difference from. In the dialog box, I'm going to choose the base field as years because we need year over year growth rate. And the base item is going to be set as previous because we want the growth rate to be computed over previous year. And then click OK. That's it. Alternatively, I can ungroup this field to have monthly data and I can calculate month on month growth using the same process. I'm going to set the base field as month and base item as previous and that's it. If you explore the show values as section, you will find many more options that can help you get much more out of your pivot table. Hope you found this video useful. See you next time. Until then, take care and bye-bye.